Hi, my name is Claudine, also known as Glam Rocks. Here we will share laughs, achievements, disappointments, but most importantly, we will grow and glow together. I look forward to creating a safe environment for all women. Please like and subscribe on the road to 1K. House rules, every statement is in my opinion, and this is for entertainment purposes only and for dialogue. Respect everyone's opinion, but don't be rude because I will block you. Let's get into this. Hey girl, hey. So let me get into this commentary. Martel and Arianne is the example, literally, of when God uses your enemy to be your footstool. Y'all, I can preach on this. I can preach on this. I can testify to this. And Mel, Mel will have a testimony one day. But right now, She's going through the fire and she needs us to hold her hand up. She needs us to hold her up in prayer. She needs us to continue to fight the good fight. Like for Arianne to be her husband, but do, God don't bless no mess. And I saw her little message and I actually did a video already on it because to me, she's begging Carlos for an opportunity because Carlos did make a Sunday sermon about um, when God gives you certain things and you complain and blah, blah, blah. And he takes it away. And now after her man, <laughs> her man gets out of jail all of a sudden, that's my man. I'm going to stick behind him. I kind of think Tasha K put some salt on that, but whatever. I mean, some sugar on that. I don't think she said that. But I think she did say that, you know, at this point, you know, she's with Martel. Everybody knows that. So let me go back. You know how I get. So when God uses your enemy for your footstool, he pivots you. Oh, you're going to cry. I just told a friend going through a situation. This is what I do. I encourage other women that got out of a situation like Mel. I'm so proud of her. I mean, I'm in my 40s, but I'm so proud of Mel. You know how much other women that she encouraged? I don't, I don't have a big platform. But in my community, in my friend group, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a woman's woman. I'm a girl's girl. And I don't care if you did not listen to me when I pointed out your man's red flags. But whenever you need a shoulder to cry, I'm here. I'm not going to tell you I told you so. You're going to know I told you so. That's why you're here. And I'm here with open arms. Because at the end of the day, even though God wanted it, I just feel that every human being needs companionship. And sometimes all of us were not raised with a good example, example of a healthy relationship, a healthy marriage, um, Coming from a Haitian um, background, they don't want to hear nothing about dating. They, 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 at nine years old, I know how to cook a whole meal. They're going to teach you how to be a wife and how to take care of your household and how to be a man. I don't take that. I love it. But to a good man. So, them too, demons, God pivoted Mel. While going through the fire. And while going through the fire. She's rising up as a phoenix. Because she's helping other women. She's help, helping other women stand up. She's helping other women know that. This too shall pass. Because of the way. That they mistreated this lady. Dogged this lady. Doing things in the background. Look at how God is bringing things to light. Ariel better hope right now. That their, her file is not on the judge's desk. Waiting. To be signed so he could look at the evidence or have not already subpoenaed T-Mobile, AT&T, who, whoever she got. Because there's already audio that says that you did it. But the thing is, because <laughs> I talked to some of my friends, the judge needs evidence. And if there's evidence that showed that you shared it and that you just wasn't running your big mouth to this blogger, if there's evidence... Oh, baby, lay low. <laughs> you better run back to Atlanta. Because you definitely going to have a worn out. The way women are being unalive at such an alarming way, way and rate as black women. The judges are not out here playing. 
God pivoted Mel, put her on a platform to help and encourage other women like you're going to go through the fire. You're going to get burned, but you're going to rise. I'm going to put your enemies as your footstool. And guess what? While I do that, I'm going to financially take you. I'm going to be Jehovah Rapha. I'm going to be Jehovah Tenisku. I'm going to be your provider and your chief cornerstone. Y'all, I'm so passionate about this because I know what I went through. I know what I endured. And I know I did not have the, the people that Mel had. But I'm out of the fire now. And all I do is encourage other women. Listen, I encourage you. I don't tell you to leave your marriage or your relationship. I encourage you to pick up your life, pick up your self-esteem, because eventually when you start thinking of yourself in a different light, you, you just wake up one day, just like I did, and say, what the heck? I'm living beyond what God has put me here to be. And because these two demons have gone against this woman behind closed doors, God is pivoting her in front of them. He has provided her. He has provided her with business knowledge, business sense, a mother and friend and just a tribe to help her out. Look at her skincare line. Look at all her other business that she has her hands upon. And that's because God did not want her to go back and say like some women, oh, I got to stay because I have kids. Oh, I got to stay because he financially take care of me. Get up. Everything that we need is in us. Every skill for us to earn money is in us. I had a conversation with my daughter the other day and she was like, mom, there's no reason why you should not hit in 100K. You have every year. You have so much skills. You have so much knowledge. Where's the ebook, mom? And right now, because I'm in the rabbit hole, I'm going through the D, I'm, I'm grieving. I miss my son. Whew, I don't want to cry. But I'm going to stand up. And I'm going to continue to encourage women out there. And I'm going to put out there everything that God has put in me. Because by the time he called me home, I want him to tell me, well done.